Hi, I'm Lynn Schwarber with Comey and Shepherd Realtors, and I am here in Over the Rhine with the beautiful and magnificent music hall behind me. And right down the street, just a block away, is the most unique antique and architectural salvage store in the Queen City. It's called the Wooden Nickel Antique Shop, and it's been here on Central Parkway for the past 40 years. Walking into the wooden nickel is like stepping back in time. Where did you get that from? That came from the restaurant in San Antonio. Owner Michael Williams finds his treasures I mean, all over the world. This is an ice cream bar from Chicago, a soda fountain ice cream bar. The wooden nickel is a sprawling antique shop housed inside three buildings. It's packed full, floor to ceiling with one of a kind pieces, making it look more like a museum than a store. How much would something like this cost? This one I'm asking 65,000. The Big Brunswick Bar, I'm asking 125 So your clients for these would be? Bars, restaurants, hotels. Williams has several massive hand-carved bars that he salvages from old restaurants, transports here, and restores. This one caught the eye of Jeff Ruby. Williams sold him this incredible bar that truly makes a statement in the center of Ruby's glitzy downtown steakhouse. It was made by a company in Cincinnati called Rothschild in 1893. It went to New York and then went to Seattle and we brought it back from Seattle, and um, Mr. Ruby saw it and had to have it. It's down there, it's spectacular. You can find smaller salvage and antique pieces here as well, from stained glass windows and light fixtures to unique furniture, doors, mantles, hardware, and there's even a moose head. If you're renovating an old home or just want to find a really unique architectural piece for your space, chances are you'll find it here. Architectural salvage, they started in architectural salvage. We bought the contents of buildings as before they came down. Lots and lots of them. It's, just, it's sad. They don't tear down buildings in Europe. Here they have. Um, it's amazing what has been torn down here in the United States. And we've saved a lot of things over the years. Over the Rhine itself is a neighborhood enjoying renewed life. For decades, this area was allowed to fall into urban decay, riddled with abandoned buildings, drugs, and crime. But over the past decade, a renaissance has happened. Restaurants, bars, shops, and street after street of townhouses, lofts, and half million dollar condos have transformed this neighborhood. This is one of the largest, most intact urban historic districts in the United States, with hundreds of buildings that are excellent examples of Italianate, Greek Revival, and Queen Anne architecture. Cincinnati's rich German history is also evident in the many churches here. Some of the artifacts Williams has salvaged came from buildings right here and over the Rhine. He says he's finding more people are appreciating the history and craftsmanship in them. The TV shows have helped, all those um repurpose shows and this, the American Pickers and all those kind of things. That, that's, you know, that's got, there's interest because of that. So the next time you're here in Over the Rhine, pay special attention to the amazing architecture around you. And you might want to stop in to the Wooden Nickel, where you can take a piece of that history home with you. For the American Dream, I'm Lynn Schwarber. Now back to you.